This is my unboxing and first look at the Rocker FM radio. Now this one, as I've said in some of my previous videos, here in South Africa in our local market, we have very few shortwave receivers available, especially multiband ones like this one. The ones that we do get usually have only one shortwave band or maybe two shortwave bands. And there's one Telefunken branded version that's got, I think, five shortwave bands. Now this one has got nine shortwave bands, plus FM and AM. I only saw this last night while I was browsing the web. Uh, there's a retailer called Macro, which is also found in Europe and I think elsewhere. They are the only people stocking this at the moment. The price is only 250 Rand, which is about $14. So very cheap. And of course, I was curious. I wanted to see if, if, if this is one of the few shortwave receivers that you can buy here. What can you do with it? So I, I didn't order it online. I went out to the store today and got it. Lots and lots of stock. The shelves were stacked full of them. It's branded, as you can see, as an FM radio, Rocker Signal Series FM radio. Rocker is a South African technology company. They clearly source their products in China and then rebranded. So this box, completely unopened. I just got it this morning. Nice color change there on the box. Very nice packaging. And I think the packaging is a little bit creates a very premium impression to an extent and the radio I think is not that premium but we'll see. I don't know whether this is DSP or analog. I will of course test the radio later and then we will see in the test. But yeah, here you can see the box. It's Rocker. Rocker Signal Series FM radio. Nice box, premium. At the back, just some cautions. Don't listen to loud music, 12 month warranty. So let's see, time to open. As I say, this is completely unopened. I just got it. So I will be as surprised as you are. Let's see. Packaging, <coughs> quite a tight fit. There's the radio, Rocker FM radio. Interesting, the branding says nothing about shortwave. Inside the box, nothing else. Just a USB cable for charging. Or for listening, I think, because it doesn't take rechargeable batteries. It takes... It takes... D cell batteries. That's it. Box, nothing else. And a little manual radio. There's a lanyard carrying strap there. Signal series FM radio. There's a model number input 3 volt made in China. Nothing else. I did inspect this slightly in the shop now before I bought it, so I saw it. There's our receiver, as you can see FM medium wave short wave 129 11 band high sensitivity world receiver. FN running from 76, interesting, megahertz to 108. Medium wave is from 5 to 5 to 1600 kilohertz. And the short wave coverage seems to be from about 4000 kilohertz up to 20, 
two and a half thousand roughly. Is our band selector on the side? Warning about the power input earphones. That's your power input volume, which also serves as the on and off. Yeah, and there's a tuning button. The one that I saw in the shop, the tuning dial there was completely skew. This one looks like it is okay. <laughs> Don't know how long that will last. But it looks quite neat actually. The Chibo version of this radio, it's also got a TV band which appears there on the dial. But the TV band is not available here in this version. So we have the nine shortwave bands down here and FM and medium wave. I'll put in some batteries and just turn it on and then I will do a full test later. So I want to put some batteries now. I had to run out to the shop and get some. I realized I didn't have T-cells in the house, which I got these South African branded ones. And I'm going to put them in now and then just turn on the radio and do a basic test to see if it can pick up some basic stations. So, battery compartment. That way. I expect these to last quite long. really struggling. There we go. Finally. That wasn't easy. And then S16 the aerial. Quite long. And to switch it on. There we go. Now the odd thing is I don't see where the FM is. Oh, there it is. So, right there. I will do a full test shortly, but this is just initial switch on and checking just some basic reception. It seems quite okay and the sound is not bad either. Yeah, these are all local Johannesburg stations. As you can see, all quite tightly spaced, but it picks them up. 
let's see, there's a Pretoria station at 104.2. Do a quick check if I can find that. Okay, but one thing that I've now really picked up is that uh, FM tuning indication there at the top is completely wrong because this one, this station is 102.7 and as you can see on the dial I'm at 104 point something now so that's completely off. I think this might be the Pretoria station, 104.2, but on the dial it shows 106. It does seem with this initial brief scan that this one is the DSP version. Quick check on medium wave. This is 1548, it's a, it's a local station. There's a big thunderstorm outside as I'm testing this, so this band is a bit noisy now. Yeah, this is 1422, it's the South African or the Johannesburg Greek station, so it picks that up. There should be something on 1485. Otherwise, this band is very quiet in the daytime, medium wave. Around here, there's a few religious stations. No. There's 657. 657. Yeah, not bad. It picks up all the daytime signals. Uh, I will do a quick check on shortwave but only in the 16 meter band which is down there shortwave 7 uh, because usually in the daytime I pick up some like Radio France International comes through quite strongly there so I'll do that quick check and then as I say I'll do a full review and band scan 
of this radio later. I think this might be NHK because they also are on the 16 meter band in the daytime often here where I am and they play that kind of music. I'm impressed uh, for fourteen dollars. It seems to pick up signals. I just got it, so I'm gonna play around with it, and then when I am able to form a proper impression, I will do a full review. So this Rocker, South African brand, available at Macro, two hundred and fifty rand, fourteen dollars. So keep checking back. I will have a review of this radio quite soon.